Hey, what's going on guys? I'm actually down here in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Come down here often with uh, Kelly and her family um, just to kind of visit. Her great-grandmother uh, lived down here, so we all kind of get together at the house from time to time just to spend some family time. But today, uh, the family decided to go swimming, and to go swimming, we actually drove through a party rock, Rocky Mount that I had never tried to cross the street, that I had never actually been to before. And um, I guess they would call this area downtown Rocky Mount. And uh, there were so many abandoned buildings down here, so many just... I was shocked. Uh, I didn't know that this was actually only a couple miles away from where I normally stay. But there were so many abandoned buildings here. Um, you know, and then the ironic thing is right next to it, you see a building, you see a building that may look abandoned, but it wasn't. It was actually an operating business. And maybe right across the street, over here, you see brand new buildings that are being constructed. So then I just kind of thought, I said, man, you know, this place is, this area, this immediate area is actually in a state of flux right now. So I went back to the house after we were done, got my point and shoot camera, just started walking around, did a little photo walk just by myself, just taking some pictures. So um, I know when my kids get older, if they choose to still come down here, this area won't look like this anymore. Um, a lot of the historic stuff will be gone or just won't look the same so I just wanted to get my camera out and just kind of come down here and just walk around for about an hour hour and a half and just take some photos so I might share some in the video or cut some into the video if I can but yeah I mean it was it was different I'm actually I didn't I feel kind of bad because I didn't even know that this kind of stuff was right around the corner really from where I was and I guess that's a life lesson in that you need to kind of get out and explore some things but yeah, so downtown Rocky Mountain, is, some parts of it looks like the place that time forgot. And then some parts of it look like they're trying to do something about it. So anyway, I do know this. The next time I come down here, probably every time I come down here, I'm going to make it a point to come into this area. Probably you know, keep taking photos, maybe document some of the change that's going on. I don't know why it's just interesting. I actually had a chance to stop into an antique store and I talked to a lady named Eva. And she was telling me that she actually lives in D.C., but they've been coming down here to the store since 2006. It's right across from the train tracks. I mean, these are authentic antiques. And she was just saying they're just waiting it out because they could tell that the city's about to do some different things. And uh, they just want to be in position. But they come down on the weekends to run the shop. And she was giving me a little bit of the history since what happened in the flood in 09 and how it really tore the city up and just kind of people's mindset about this area after the flood. So, um... It was just really interesting. I've always liked history, but I guess this is like the history you can kind of reach out and touch. So I thought I would just document it and we'll just see what happens from there. So anyway, I just in, I'm not going to make a long video, just something real quick. Um, I'm going to start, I think as a result of this trip, we're going to start a new section or series on the blog called Photo Stories. And just as we come across different things from our journeys or even back home. You know, we'll just kind of put that stuff on the blog and just kind of document it. So, anyway, not going to keep you guys. It's a July 4th, so I hope everybody, July 4th, 2015. So, I hope everybody is having a great day, a safe holiday, and I'll check in with you guys later. Take care.